Well, hello, my YouTube fellows and gals. So today, Sunny Fun Time Mail is going to be a lot of fun. This is actually one of my favorite sellers on the Whatnot app. And it is so, 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 so cute. Look at that. Look at the little penguin. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to try to save that penguin too. It is the penguin boss. They're out of Florida. Oh my goodness. And I am so excited because I get such cool stuff. So if you like vintage items and you like your stuff where you can get really good prices, this is where you want to come to. And now we got peanuts in this box. So I'm going to pull these off and then show them after I unbury them. So give me a second. Because we'll have styrofoam peanuts everywhere if I don't. So bear with me, because this is a nice haul. She packed these very, very well. Oh my, look at the blue bubble wrap. <laughs> yes, people. <sighs> Only I get excited <laughs> over bubble wrap. Ever bubble wrap because I love anything blue. <laughs> so let's see what the first blue bubble wrap holds. <laughs> this is so funny. First, we have this really cute set of wooden spools and these cards are such fun look how cute these are this is like a fishing lure of a wooden spool and these were advertisements then here's another one with the kid with Clark's spool and cotton in Romania a singer sewing machine. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And the ads are on the back. This ads are so cool too. And this is a gift for a friend. Because I know she wanted these. So and she was trying to set up her payment when it went up for auction, so I did want it for her. Because I do stuff like that. And then this here, I thought this was so cute. I've never seen anything like these online in the vintage sales that we went to. But here are like tiny picture cards. Look how cool those are. It's like cabinet cards, but they're tiny. So I bought those. And then there was a set of smaller ones that came with them. So I got those. They did a really, really good sale on these items like that was something very different that I had not come across even in our antique mall so I like that and 
and then they have oh my goodness her uh there's i always hear three voices in the background and i believe tracy is the one that collects stamps and oh my goodness the stamp collection this woman has look at this there's planes and then this was another it was a coca-cola the chronicles of coca-cola and then inside it had canceled coca-cola checks this is really cool it was the coca-cola bottling company they paid to the order of and there's those that's a nice collectible and then this was 1975 mint set and I love horses so yeah Pony Express stuff I like too so here's a bunch of stamps that comes with this and there's a page where you can record your stamps if you want to it's a commemorative set thought that was really cute United States Postal Service and this is the envelope it came in see it is the 1975 mint set. So I thought that was nice. And let me tell you, their prices are amazing. They really are. You just never know what you're gonna pay until you go into one of these sales because sometimes you might pay $2, sometimes $3, sometimes five, something. You know, it just depends on who is in an auctioning with you to what you're going to spend and get. So I thought these were very nice collectibles. And, oh, look at all this scrumptious stuff. People will put peanut that away. This here is... A willow pine and blossom box show you what's in it the Metropolitan Museum of Art and it's beautiful cards which you can use for journaling or love it I don't think there's I don't know if there's envelopes I think it's just the cards but that's okay because I love these cards they can also be turned into journaling cards then they had they have stuff for auction whoops <laughs> and they have some items that's buy it nows and you can go in and buy stuff that they have for the time being and this was one of the things I got they had envelopes that are really cool with the Pony Express I think I can't remember if they had like 10 they have so many of them for like three bucks I mean these are awesome Let's see what else is in here you guys did a great great job Selling and packaging. All these are import labels for whiskey. And then here are the Pony Express envelopes stamped already. Love them. Love them. Because you know I love my horses. And then here, let's pull out the rest. They have. Oh, these are a whole package of nothing but stamps. I'm not going to be able to get through them all in this video because we could do this all night. <laughs> but they had I'll show you. 
couple of them. They had the little glassing of those. Like she was telling me, I think Tracy collected these for a really long period of time. And you have the little envelopes. And they'll put a whole mess of them up for auction. And I'm talking this whole bag was one lot. All kinds of stamps. She's even got listed the names on them. Sometimes they're mixed. Sometimes they're sorted. They spent hours sorting some of these. There's some ones with the president on them. Here's ones. Looks like what these are. Some are postmarked. They look like lanterns. There's such a variety. It's amazing. It is amazing. Things us crafters love. And she's been downsizing these. And it's just, they're incredible. So, we have a whole bunch of those. And... And then first issues. Look at that horse. You know I'm going for the horses, people. I like horses, railroad stuff. And like this was a lot. Like guess sometimes you get them for a buck or two. So you get really good deals. Look at that. First day issues. This is a Christmas set I got. Christmas at home, joy to the world. There's one with owls on it. Another type of bird, flora fauna, gambit. Wait a minute, what was this one? Gambia, maybe I don't know. This is the long crested hawk eagle, the African harrier hawk, and the lizard buzzard. <laughs> So they have birds. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. I go in there and it's like, I want everything. And you know you can't have everything, but you darn well try. Then this was a lot of railroad items I got. Look how pretty that is. That even shimmers. The postcards. So there's some train. Look at this. Look at that. It's like embossed. These are gorgeous trains. And then here's a Sherlock Holmes. And it's all a stamp collection type thing. Collectible. My goodness. These are awesome, ladies. These are so awesome. And you know, like me, if you're like me, you know that the camera sometimes does no justice to items till you get them in person and you're like, ooh, ah. Okay. So here's another set. Some extra bags. Here's the presidents of the United States. We have the official first day. Look at these. Oh, and they're on airmail envelopes. Yes, please. Or postcards, I mean, on envelopes. I'm sorry. They're like a postcard type feel. i never seen anything like these in sales I've been to. Look at that eagle. First day issues. So, ladies, you just keep bringing on... The good stuff because this is like right up my alley and then here are more United Nations all envelopes these are just incredible truly they are so that was a set they even sent me extra bags for storage. 
Thank you, thank you so much for that, too. They're incredible, and they're so much fun. You know, when you hang out on their lives, they're just a blast to hang out with. And then here, yes, this was a nice big auction. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. <laughs> Tracy. Thank you. And they do amazing giveaways. They'll do like a lot of postcards for giveaways. This was my giveaway. And look what she put in there. Cream Luffy. Look at that. I love the horse pen. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the surprise. So this is what they did as a giveaway. So I say even their giveaways are amazing. This was the entire giveaway. You get a clip. Look at this. Their cards. Postcards. I love it. And I have a ship journal that I'm almost done with that I had that I'm keeping. And oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to add a couple. Nick, pretty in her postcards. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> I hope when Penn and Tracy watch this, they are smiling because they sure made me smile. There's more stamps. A whole bunch more in here and then they had even old greeting cards that you can use for journaling cards like I felt like I was shopping in an antique mall with them they really bring the vintage to the table they have all kinds of beautiful postcards and she'll flip through them and she does them all as a lot like, oh, these are incredible. And then here, and this is why I shop with so many people like this because they really know how to build up my craft stuff. Like, look at these vintage cards. They can be turned into journaling cards. People, don't throw away your greeting cards. Because these are, they're beautiful to put in pockets of journals, even if we take the covers off. Look at these. They're beautiful, used or not. I can only imagine how many cards the greeting, you know, that gets in the landfill. I don't know. I wouldn't. Because too many have pretty stuff on them.